Well, members of a local immigration advocacy group still pushing for a pathway to citizenship for dreamers and others who are in the country illegally. Their fight set back this week after the Senate parliamentarian ruled immigration policy cannot be included in a massive spending bill. Channel 5's Thumbie Verma with the plan going forward. Danny Diaz, director of organizing at Lupe, is in Washington, D.C., urging lawmakers to ensure a pathway to citizenship for dreamers, essential workers, and other undocumented people. And showing the world what it means to treat others, other people with dignity and, and humanity. And that's what's at stake right now. So our question really is, how can you be deemed essential yet deportable by the same government? A question we posed to our Valley lawmakers. Congressman Henry Cuellar telling Channel 5 he was disappointed by the parliamentarian's decision, but is now focused on passing a pathway to citizenship another way. Now we have to find a way to get 10, ex, 10 extra Republicans on the, on, the, on the Senate side to get to that point. A pathway to citizenship could be big news for the undocumented population in the Valley. 2021 data showing that about 14.5 thousand Dreamers live in the McAllen metro region and contribute about $40 million in federal, state and local taxes. Rep Vicente Gonzalez says there's still two things that may come out of the reconciliation bill that he's focused on. For for the first time in history to be able to negotiate help for Medicare to be able to negotiate uh, pharmaceutical pricing and allow seniors to have more affordable uh, uh, medications. Our high school graduates will be able to go to community college two years uh, tuition free. Congressman Gonzalez says as far as fighting for a pathway for citizenship, he wants to help get the dream bill passed by the end of the year. Thunvi Verma, Channel 5 News.